Have you ever heard of Pink Band? He's a famous comedian and actor in Mexican cinema of the 1940s. He's remembered as El Pachuco de Oro. Or maybe you are more familiar with Edward James Olmos' legendary character El Pachuco in the 1981 critically acclaimed film Susie. So what's a Pachuco? In the 1940s, Pachucos were a Mexican-American working class youth known for their highly stylized fashion, mainly their sweet drapes, or tacuche, you know, tsutsu. They form part of a multiracial, multi-ethnic working class youth subculture. Through fashion, music, dance, and slang, they were asserting their own identity and sense of pride in a society where they faced racial violence, inequality, segregation, and discrimination. By the summer of 1943, long-standing racial tensions led to violent clashes between Pachucos and white sailors, soldiers, and civilians in World War II Los Angeles. This event would be known as the Suit Suit Riots. But why were Pachucos targeted, and why were they blamed for the violence that ensued? Well, because Pachuco fashion and behaviors failed to comply to what many white middle-class Americans believed to be proper, respectable, and patriotic. Pachucos were stereotyped as un-American, culturally lacking, violent, and immoral. This led to Mexican-American youths being over-policed for the way they looked. But you know who also got down, but failed to get the recognition they deserve? Las Pachucas, or Lady Suit Suiters, AKA Slick Chicks. They are celebrated for their contributions to Pachuco culture, but in particular, for the ways Pachuco fashions challenge traditional ideas about how women and girls were supposed to look and act. Some Pachucas refashioned the full-on tacuche, like homegirl Ramona right here. Others opted to pair their suit suit trousers with v-neck sweaters, like these badass homegirls over here. Others wore the broad shoulder coat with a knee-length pleated skirt. Very scandalous. They paired it with fishnets, bobby socks, and wore guarache sandals or platform shoes. A dark lipstick, a high hairdo called a bouffant, completed the flashy look. Pachuca fashion was deemed dangerous because it challenged gender boundaries. Their fashion was both masculine and feminine and pushed the sexual envelope. Because of this, they were often thought to be unruly. They were policed by both their Mexican parents and white authorities. Pachucas are part of Girlhood It's Complicated, an exhibition at the National Museum of American History. Fashion has always been political and dangerous for black and brown youth, especially girls. Fashion has been a way for them to talk back. Today, we as Latinas continue to use our voices, our bodies, to assert our power and autonomy, to define ourselves, to be heard, and to be seen on our own terms. Our Latina history is American history.